Hi everyone, this is Hello Inge Doll Design. Today I am going to show you how to make a beautiful dress with a pocket. So this dress has a pocket right here and it's a step-by-step -step tutorial. I'm going to show you how to adjust your top dress pattern paper and I'm going to show you how to take the measurement of half circle skirts. Please support us by subscribing, thumbs up on our video, comment down below if you have any questions and please always watch the video until the end so that you don't miss anything out. That question that you are about to ask, I have already explained it on the video. I think it will be better for you to watch the video. Majority of you are not watching the video, please watch watch the video until the end and also share our video to your friends and loved ones to those who are really interested of in making kids dresses so let's get started first thing that we are going to do we are going to adjust our pattern paper before you adjust your pattern paper make sure you have all your materials ready i have my measuring tape my paper scissors my arm hook of my ruler my pen my invisible zipper you can use any zipper of your choice so this is my pocket pattern and i have my back and front pattern paper right here and i'm using this african wax print you can use any print of your choice my african wax print is 100 percent cutting so let's adjust our pattern paper first thing that you have to do you take your basic pattern paper this is the front of my pattern paper my pattern paper already include one centimeter seam allowance all you are going to do you take a different pattern paper you fold that pattern paper into two and then you just go ahead and trace it out this is what you are seeing right here so once you trace it out you have a full pattern paper for the front the next thing that you have to do from the side seam i'm going to take a measurement of six centimeter because my pattern paper already includes seam allowance that is why i'm taking six centimeter if my pattern paper did not include seam allowance i will only take five centimeter so you place your measuring tape like this you take six centimeter inside this is where my six centimeter end and from the neckline this will be the center front from the neckline i place my measuring tape like this i measure down five centimeter is right here the next thing that you have to do you take your arm hook off this is where my neckline started i'm going to place my arm hook off where it just started curving i will just place it like this and i am going to curve it out I have covered it out this is how it is the next thing that you have to do you take your paper scissors you use it to cut it out and this is my back pattern paper for the back pattern paper we don't need any adjustment the back pattern paper remains the way it is i've already had my seam allowance on my pattern paper all my seam allowance is one centimeter for the center by i add 1.5 centimeter that will be my zipper seam allowance and this is the pocket that i have already made if you don't know how to make a pocket all you have to do place your child hand on the pattern paper and then you trace it all out so what i'm going to do i am going to place my pattern paper on my fabric and then start cutting them out i have pinned my front pattern paper on my fabric so what i'm going to do i'm going to take my scissors and i will cut it out when i pin it on my fabric i fold my fabric into two so i'm going to cut it out make sure that your front pattern paper is not on fold your back pattern paper is not on fold when you are cutting them out I have pinned my back pattern paper on my fabric and I will take my scissors and cut it out. Remember when you are cutting out your May fabric, also cut out your lining. So when you are cutting the front, make sure that you also cut out the lining. I'm using the same fabric to lining the top dress. So what I'm going to do, I will take my scissors and cut it out.
The next thing that we have to do, we are going to cut out our skirt. So I have my fabric right here. My fabric is on fold on this side. Why this side is the raw edges. I just fold the fabric into two. Once you fold your fabric into two, what you are going to do, this is the point edge of your fabric. Then you pick your fabric like this, you turn it over. So you can see this side is pointing up. So this is how you will fold your fabric. Once you fold your fabric like this, the next thing that you have to do is to take the total waistline of your top dress. So the total waistline of my top dress is 22 inch or 56 centimeter. So what I'm going to do, I am going to add about three inch to that. That will be 25 inch or 63.5 centimeter. So what I'm going to do, I am going to take that measurement and divide it by 3.14 if you're going to divide half circle square you divide it by 3.14 so this is my phone I'm going to use my phone to calculate that I have calculated the waistline of my skirt the measurement that I get is 7.9 inch if you're using centimeter you take a measurement of 20 and a half centimeter so what i'm going to do i'm going to place my measuring tape at the very tip like this i am going to measure down 20 and a half centimeter so you go ahead and measure it around once you have done that you also connect all the mark together and i've connected all the mark together the next thing that you have to do is to take the length of your skirt the length of my skirt is 35.5 centimeter if you're using inches you can measure 14 inch remember to add your hemming seam allowance and also your waistline seam allowance i am going to be taking the measurement of 40.5 centimeter or 16 inch so i will just go ahead and measure it all around I have take my measurement. What I'm going to do, I will take my scissors and then cut it out. I have cut it out. What I'm going to do, I will also go ahead and take my scissors and cut out the size seam. This will be the size seam. Remember, we have a pocket that we are going to attach on the skirt. So make sure to cut that out. So I will take my scissors and just go ahead and cut it out so that I have two pieces. First thing that you have to do, this is my back top dress. You take the front, you're going to put the both shoulder seam together like this. Put the both shoulder seam together, take it to your sewing machine and stitch it with one centimeter seam allowance. Depends on the seam allowance that you add on your fabric. And then you take your lining because I'm using the same fabric to lining the top dress. You open your lining like this. You put the both front fabric together. You are going to stitch the shoulder seam with one centimeter seam allowance the, the next thing that you have to do you open your front skirt so what i'm going to do from the waistline i'm going to take a measurement of one and a half centimeter if you're using inches you can measure half an inch so i will this is how it is one and a half centimeter and i will come down to this other side i will repeat the same process i will measure that one and a half centimeter is right here the next thing that i'm going to do i will take my pocket i'm going to place my pocket like this make sure that when you place your pocket both front fabric are facing each other pin it in place take it to your sewing machine and top stitch with one centimeter seam allowance and you also come down to this other side you repeat the same process both front fabric facing each other you stitch it with one centimeter seam allowance depends on the seam allowance that you add on your fabric once you have done that the next thing that you have to do you take the back pieces and this is the size seam of my skirt so i am going to also take a measurement of one and a half centimeter so this is my one and a half centimeter and i will take my pocket and i will place it like this stitch it with one centimeter seam allowance this is the second pieces of my skirt and i will place my measuring tape and i will also measure down 1.5 centimeter is right here once i take that measurement place my pocket and i will take it to my sewing machine 
and stitch it with one centimeter seam allowance depends on the seam allowance that you add on your fabric i have top stitched the shoulder seam i take it to my ironing board i press the seam apart i just put the both fabric together so i make sure that when i put them together both front fabric are facing each other what we are going to do we are going to stitch around the neckline before stitching around the neckline make sure to measure your zipper seam allowance inside my zipper seam allowance is 1.5 centimeter i will measure it inside and then i will stitch around the neckline once you have done that take your scissors snip around the neckline turn it inside out and give it a good press the next thing that we have to do we are going to stitch our skirt and i've also overlocked the side seam of my skirt i have stitched the pocket together this is how it is once you have stitched the pocket together so what we are going to do we are going to put both side seam of the skirt together i have already pinned this together you can see the way i pin it i start pinning from the waistline around the pocket and all the way down to the side seam so you are going to repeat the same process on this side of the skirt put them together like this start pinning from the waistline you pin it around the pocket and then you pin it all the way down to the side seam once you have done that take it to your sewing machine stitch it with one centimeter seam allowance once you have done that the next thing that we have to do we are going to pleat our sleeve that we are going to attach on the armhole of our dress making so i am going to tell you the measurement of my fabric so you place your measuring tape like this you take a measurement of six centimeter when you are taking the measurement make sure that you fold your fabric into two before you take the measurement when you are cutting your fabric make sure that you cut a long fabric so that you can be able to pleat your fabric all you have to do take it to your sewing machine and you just pleat your fabric randomly doesn't matter the measurement you just go ahead and pleat it all the way down once you have done that we cannot pin it on our dress making I have top stitched the neckline of my top dress together this is how it is and i've also pleat my sleeve all around this is how it looks the next thing that we have to do we are going to pin our sleeve on the armhole of our dressmaking before you do that make sure to measure inside from the armhole so i am going to take a measurement of four centimeter if you're using inches you can measure one and a half inch so i I will place my measuring tape like this and i will take a measurement of four centimeter is right here and then i will come down to this other side i will repeat the same process place my measuring tape and i will measure down four centimeter is right here once i take the measurement i will pick my sleeve fold it into two like this so that i know the mid part of my sleeve once i fold it into two i will take my pin i will just place it at the mid part of my sleeve so what i'm going to do i will open my sleeve like this and i will pin it on the armhole make sure that the center of the sleeve and the shoulder seam are matched when you are pinning them together remember to separate your lining so i am going to separate my lining put them together together like this and secure that with a pin so what i'm going to do when i get down to this side instead of folding it inside like this i will fold it upwards like this and then you pin it on the armhole all you have to do continue pinning it all around i have pinned my sleeve all around the next thing that i'm going to do i will take it to my sewing machine and top stitch it when i'm stitching i stitch very very close to the raw edges once i am done with that and i will pick my lining and 
and I will fold it on top of it like this. I will stitch around the both arm hole. I will also repeat the same process on this other side. Open my top dress, take my lining, pinning on top of it, and I will go ahead and top stitch it all around. I have stitched my sleeve together. This is how it is. I turn it inside out, take it to my ironing board and give it a good press. The next thing that we have to do, we are going to stitch the side seam of our top dress. All you have to do, you pick your side seam like this and you pick the back of the side seam, put them together, take it to your sewing machine and top stitch with one centimeter seam allowance. You come down to the other, side you pick the back and this is the front top dress put them together take it to your sewing machine and top stitch with one centimeter seam allowance i have stitched the side seam of my top dress this is how a look so what we are going to do you pick your measuring tape you place it at the side seam, you measure inside five centimeter or two inch. You come down to this other side, you repeat the same process. You measure inside five centimeter or two inch is right here. So what we are going to do, we are going to pick our top dress like this. We are going to pull them together. And I will come down to this other side. I'll make sure that this point is at this side of the top dress and I will pin it in place. So once you have done pinning, what you are going to do, you are going to pull them together. So it will look like this inside the top dress. You are going to take it to your sewing machine and top stitch it together, including the lining from here to this end. I have given it a top stitch. This is how it looks. The next thing that we have to do, we are going to stitch our skirt at the waistline of our top dress. All you have to do, you pick your skirt, make sure that both front fabric are facing each other like this. This is the front of my top dress. This is the front of my skirt. All you are going to do, you are going to pin them together so make sure you pin them together gradually once you have done pinning take it to your sewing machine and top stitch with your seam allowance my seam allowance is 1.3 centimeter or half an inch once you have done stitching take it to your overlocker overlock the raw edges or use zigzag to overlock the raw edges when you are stitching make sure that you pin the lining and the main fabric together at the same time and you top stitch i have stitched the skirt together this is how it is the next thing that we have to do we are going to fix our zipper at the center back of this dress making before you fix your zipper make sure to measure your seam allowance inside once you have done that you also take your measuring tape you measure where you want your zipper to end so i will place my measuring tape at the neckline i am going to take a measurement of 28 centimeter or 11 inches so my 28 centimeter is right here or 11 inches this is where i want my zipper to end so what i'm going to do i am going to pin my zipper at the center back i believe a lot of you know how i pin my zipper at the center but once i done pinning i will thread my needle use hand stitch to stitch it in place first before taking it to my sewing machine and top stitch so go ahead and stitch your zipper at the center back of your dress making I have stitched my zipper at the center back of this dress making this is how it look the next thing that you have to do you just go ahead and zip your dress this is how the center back of your dress making will look the next thing that you have to do is to finish stitching the center back you just put the center back together 
you stitch it all the way down with your seam allowance once you have done that you also use the opportunity to hem your skirt you go ahead and stitch it all around once you have done that you can also top stitch around the waistline or you can decide not to but for me i'm going to top stitch around the waistline once i am done with that i will show you the final look of my dress making This is the final look of my dress. I have top stitch around the waistline and I've also hemmed my skirt all around. This is how it is once you have done that. And I've also stitched the center back. Thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. Comment down below if you have any questions and I will do my best to respond to you. Have a beautiful day. Bye.